in the UFC at present, and when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He's able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the Kings. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. The main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Turku, Finland, big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker so versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Nice head kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Blocks the shot. Right on the button. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. 
look at him with his hip into that kick. Big body kick. Single collar tie now. Lee's shot there is blocked. Way to hide that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go round one. Takedown defense holds up. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Nice defense there, huge block. Lee gets caught with that punch, gotta shore up the defense here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All collar tie. Just over two minutes, round one. Kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. This nice punch lands over the top. Nice one, two there. Just missed with the left there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Great action. And a nice job to stick hand. with it there to complete the takedown. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. remain in the round. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very deep position. Let's go, let's go, finish this guy. Going orthodox now. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Round two next. All right, let's get you some of the action from that previous round, DC. And those are some serious leg kicks, man. He gets the leg to the target so quickly. He gets his foot off the ground so quickly that you don't even recognize that it's coming. And that's really confusing his opponent. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with this. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. 
how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Able to check that kick as well. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Lifts on the straight right hand. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Lee's shot is blocked. Kick to the body now. That one over will land. And over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Back to the feet now. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Connects now with the one-two. Oh, nice. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And they separate. Trying to double up on that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown here. Looks like he entered pretty well, but once again, not able to take the opposition down. Just a great idea of what was in front of him by the opponent. Knew that he would have to defend multiple takedowns to this point. He has done that, and if I'm a teacher, he's got an A-plus in takedown defense. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Changes his stance. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. This jab gets to the target so fast, and he always Brings his hands right back to his face. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action 
when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that he... Oh! looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, huge block! Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He loaded up there on that high kick. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Nice stick with the right hand. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Good punch, Lance. Oh! He's in trouble. Oh! Just over three minutes to go. Unable to land with that punch. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. You're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Hands high, hands high. Oh man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the legs, got to his positions. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. And he's out. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, gotta be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John, that's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. Fighter try to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Good, solid strike on the ground. Nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Overhand. Kick to the body by Lee. All right, single collar tie now. 
All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Ooh, big shot lands. Just misses with the jab. Nice counter right hook there. He's in the clinch. This is one of his strongest spots. How does he proceed? Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. He thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. The punch coming, it's blocked. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Can't take many of those, better check. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice outside leg kick there. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Back and forth we go. That knee. Oh, big knee. Just over three minutes now to go. Lee's a strike attempt there is blocked. Nice stick with the right hand. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round number four. Wow. Oh, double leg takedown is good. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, he's back up again, you gotta like that. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. <laughs> oh! oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. <laughs> Went for the inside leg kick. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? We're switching stances here. Back to orthodox. Beautiful body. 
huge block there. Nice losing punch. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Nice stick with the right hand. Final minute to go here in round four. Stuff to take down, no problem. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. Continues to eat power shots here. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Nice stick with the right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar down. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He's done, he's done! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bugliano calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Ruth the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Yeah, my green light. Yeah, my green light.